WXII 12 News at 4 starts right now. First at 4 o'clock, almost one month after a massive fire at the former Culp Weaving Mill there in Graham, an arrest has been made. The Alamance County Sheriff's Office charged 22-year-old Wayland Phillips with felony burning a certain building and felony breaking and entering in connection to the Culp Weaver fire and an abandoned house in Green Level, they say he intentionally said. Investigators this afternoon also tell us three minors are also connected to both of these fires. Maria DeBone joins us live outside the former Culp Weaving Mill tonight with more. Maria, how long has this investigation lasted? Well, Alamance County Sheriff officials say that this fire that happened back on November 12th was under investigation up until they received tips from multiple people saying that Wayland Phillips, along with three other juveniles, were responsible for this fire. Now, according to Alamance County Sheriff Terry Johnson, Phillips told investigators that he set the house fire in green level on November 13th with gasoline and used papers and an old desk at the Culp Mill to set the fire there. John Johnson said investigators haven't been able to get inside the building to confirm that yet since it's unstable. The three juveniles that range in ages from 13 to 15 years old have been charged with felony burning certain buildings in connection with the Green Level House fire. Additional charges are pending while they remain in custody. I truly believe um, that additional fires would have been set had we not had the wonderful work that these individuals um, do day in and day out and we appreciate them so much. We appreciate the public calling in, uh, providing tips, being willing to speak with law enforcement so that we can get the right individuals in custody um, in order to prevent something catastrophic. And Sheriff Johnson said they're going to look into past fires that have happened in Alamance County that may have been questionable. That's including the fire that happened here at the Culp Weaving Mill back in 2020-22. Devante? And Maria, you mentioned them looking into prior fires. Does that include the large fire that happened at the former Carolina Mill just a few weeks ago? Yeah, that's right, Devante. So the sheriff today actually announced that he is going to provide a $2,000 reward for anybody that brings information that would lead to an arrest with that Carolina Mill fire because he believes that that fire was intentionally set and was not accidental. In Graham, Maria DeBone, WXII 12 News. A man is in custody accused in a shooting at Salem.